Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of the Faust Normalized series. And today, we're gonna cover JK. I might be exaggerating, but I think I'm one of the Faust players who loves JK the most. JK, in my opinion, is one of Faust's best buttons. And I think it's a very strong aerial option that is not represented enough due to buttons like JH existing and uh, JP being like the go-to for many people since it's not very committal. And while JK is very committal, um, I think it is very strong and I'm gonna try and make the case for it in this uh, video. So if you like it and you think what I'm saying makes sense, make sure to use more JK in your Faust gameplay. Okay, that'll make me really happy. As always, we're gonna do, first of all, the data, things that you should know. After that, we're gonna move to how you should use it, when you should use it, what to do after you use it, all that kind of stuff. We're gonna cover all the different cases of JK having a use. And at the end, we're gonna go into combos. And let me spoil it for you. JK has sauce, okay? JK has sauce. So with that said, let's get right to it. JK is a seven frame startup like JP it is one frame more active, so five frames active, but it has 18 frames of recovery, which for the record is three times more than JP. So I can do this at the time that it takes me to recover from this. About, it's like roughly, because uh, JP is 16 frames and JK is, uh, JK is 29 frames um, or 30, 29 or 30. So, anyway, th there are about like two JPs and one JK, so way more committal. Uh, what we should know about JK, that despite it being committal, um, it is very nice, okay? On block, on hit, and on counter hit. Uh, more than JP, That's so that's why it's more committal. Now, why is that, you ask yourself? So, reason number one is that it has Gatlings. Uh, Gatling number one is JD. Okay, JK, JD. Very nice. The other Gatling is J2K. And while JD uh, is not a true block string, so see if I set uh, the opponent on block to DP. Um, as you can see, does not does not work. J2K can be made into a true block string. Uh, as you can see the first time that I did it. Um, which is, of course, very punishable, but after that, you can do um, other options. Uh, and space better. As you can see, that's like how you space away from uh, DP. Like this. You can pick this up with a... Uh, what's it called? A 5k JH, if you space it correctly. Um... But this is not what the video is about, so I'm not going to spend any more time on it uh, because it's not important, okay? And I'm not getting distracted. We did the last video in less than 30 minutes. That's the goal for today. Anyway, uh, that's generally the stuff you should know about JK. Um, other than that, you can... Uh, wait, let's stop DPing, okay? Uh, other than that, you can air dash cancel it. So JK is air dash cancelable. And... Um, yeah, it's a, like hitbox wise, I would say it's very, very nice. Uh, it kind of hits where Faust usually wants to hit, but can't, which is pretty close to him. So you'll see that like here, this still hits, uh, even though buttons like JD a lot of times will uh, whiff there or um, JS, like let me do like a forward jump to kind of like make the example. Like here, um, like JD would whiff, but JK usually hits there. Um, I don't know how to make the example clear. It hits, it hits closer to Faust's body. So if you're doing like a, this kind of landing move, I guess, JK is very nice. It's also faster uh, than JS and JD. So um, if you're like closer to the ground and you need like a button, uh, JK might be better. Epic. So other than that, I think we can move on. 
uh, as I said, can be canceled into, like, of course, like the specials, uh, Love and Mix Mix Mix, uh, and into J2K, JD, and Air Dash. So now to the important question, why do I use JK? I have amazing JP, it's really nice, not committal, recovers fast. I have JH, it reaches far, if the opponent is like jumping, okay. I snipe him from far away. Uh, we haven't covered it, but we do that. Guys, if the opponent's like jumping, I go like this. If the Milia is pretending to have air footsies, we do this, right? Why do I use JK? Like, why, why am I doing this risking whiffing or being like in a worse position? And the reason is, is JK, in my opinion, is the most consistent auto confirm we have in the air. What does that mean? I'm going to explain it. Um, what it means is that after JK, on hit, on block, on counter hit, every time, we can simply confirm into an air dash JS. Um, and let me show how that looks like on block. I'm going to show later in combos uh, how it looks like too. Um, and yeah, okay, he's blocking now. Okay, and the way it looks like is like this, okay? Now, you can add a slight drift up to get a JH there too. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's still a true block string. And just to kind of like exemplify this, uh, if I set the opponent to 6B, for example, right? Okay, this is a true block string. If you delay it slightly, you can make it so you're counter hitting him. Uh, let me kind of show this. Okay, wait. Me practicing this before I record works 100% of the time. Presses recording. Does not work. There we go. Yeah, okay. So, basically, if you just mesh it, it'll be a true block string. Um, like, if you just uh, mesh it from the air dash, and you can make a true block string. As you can see, it does a lot of risk. Uh, it builds a nice meter. If I didn't have meter, it will show that it builds a nice meter. And you can go for something like this. When the opponent has a lot of risk, you can get nice damage. Right? Um, here. 209. Not bad at all. Anyway. Um, it is really, really nice. And the thing that's so nice about it is that it basically auto-confirms your combo. Because if it were to hit... I'm not going to do the full combo. I just want to show that how it confirms. Like, if I were to hit... As you can see, this works, okay? And you can do easy combos, you can do hard combos. Uh, that's up to you. But you can get like a very simple auto confirm for your hit and for your counter hit. Uh, let me just give you a sneak peek because you get this kind of like high bounce um, in season two. Okay, this is just like, this is not even optimal. You can get close slash there for like 190, I think. Um, Am I really doing combos right now? Should I really be doing combos right now? I really want to do this one at least. Okay, yeah. 189. So as you can see, um, it's very, very nice. Now, there are different combos you can do. You don't always have to confirm the same thing. Um, but the good thing about this is that since you're confirming into Air Dash, okay? So you'll see Air Dash comes out, right? If you're thrown out of JK, you can always put in the air dash. And since JK has a lot of recovery, unlike JP, right? Where like, if I input an air dash on block, it doesn't come out because you can't cancel. But if I input it on like uh, on whiff, I might get it out. Depends on my timing. So since uh, JK has a lot of recovery, you can always input the air dash. And that's kind of like OSing the air dash. Um, and if you get a hit or if you get like a... Um, a block, you can always do the air dash. If you don't, then you're good. Air dash doesn't come out. Okay, so you're good. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. You don't have to do this. You can just confirm that you're going to hit them or like interact with them and like do it. Uh, it's just in case you feel like it. Okay, just saying. Anyway, uh, with that said, this is why I think JK is very good. It basically auto confirms for you. It hits in places fast. Wants to hit in a rising situation. Uh, when you're close, JH might be either a bit too slow or a bit too janky. Um, I, I'm assuming people had this happen to them, where like an opponent would 
uh, let me tell him to stop jumping actually for a moment. Uh, let's say an opponent does something like this, right? And uh, you want to like JH, but they're already like landing and you can't really hit them uh, by the time you reacted. Okay, or maybe they're doing like a back air dash, right? Wait. Right, so by the time you see them, JH doesn't really work. Right, you don't like that, but that's what JK is for. Okay, so as you can see, JK can sniff them out the air there. Okay, and you can either uh, trade, sometimes you'll trade, that happens. Or you can get a nice hit, stick them into the wall, get some meter, do some nice damage. Uh, there are characters JK is more useful against, in my opinion. It kind of depends on the opponent's air tools. I think some notable mentions are definitely Kai, uh, where is not Chip. Uh, Melia can be useful against Melia. It can be very useful against Ram, from my experience. I really like it against where is uh, Biken. Uh, Geo is good for this one. Uh, Anji is less good, but still useful. Eno, not Go Lewis, not Jacko. Where is she? Biken. Okay, I think it's super useful against Spike, and I would keep this in mind uh, when they're like threatening this kind of like JS approach or JH approach or doing back air dash to Tommy. JK is a super useful tool. You should keep it in mind. Okay. Uh, Testament, not really, not in my opinion. Bridget, yes, definitely. Uh, Sin a bit, uh, not really Batman. And possibly Asuka. I'm a, like, I don't know enough about Asuka to say. But these are like characters I would like keep in mind more for JKs, but generally it's a good tool against everyone. Oh, probably like Soul Bad Guy. I kind of skipped him for no reason, but um, he definitely has to hold JK if we use it correctly. Okay, so that's like one reason to use JK. It auto confirms into what you want to do um, and gives you like a nice situation on hit and on block that leaves you uh, in a very nice position. So it is technically more committal. But if you are doing the play correctly, then you get more reward uh, very consistently. Okay, so this is why you use JK. Um, JK also has other uses, uh, which I'll briefly mention because I think they're like more uh, related to other parts of the game. So JK is used to fuzzy people. I covered in my 5k and close last videos, the 5k JK. Uh, can catch people when they're trying to um, switch to guard after just blocking standing, right? You can see this hit. Uh, from that, you can confirm into this kind of combos uh, if you want to, right? Something like this, or um, if you do, sorry, if you do something like something like this, you can break the wall from mid-screen. Like this. Uh, you can do it, I think, with... Uh, just to make sure I'm giving the right combo. Um, you can do it with a micro dash into thrust as well. Yeah, that's the right combo to do there. So we use JK to fuzzy people or fuzzy catch, catch people trying to crouch after they stand blocked. Uh, that will also happen if you catch them blocking love standing, but it's only if they block the second uh, tick of love, not the first one. As you can see, you can block and switch between the loves. Um, how, how will I give an example to this? Uh, maybe if I record them. I wonder if I can show this. Uh, maybe. Maybe a bit faster. Maybe a bit faster. I'll, I'll try this one more time. Come on. I, I'm not sending them to... No. Okay, you'll just have to trust me that you can do it. Uh, you can do it from JSJH2. 
Let me just tell him to um, switch on second on this. So if you do like a JH like this, you can catch people. Oh, wait, and now they're doing the recording. And I'm like, oh my god, this is definitely working. Dude, trying like fuzzy stuff against the computer is so difficult. Because they do weird shit. Um, let me think. How do I give the example? It's like almost impossible to show fuzzies on the computer. Well, you'll just have to trust me. You know what? You'll just trust me that it works, okay? Because the computer blocks really weirdly and just JH has like a... is already a fuzzy catch. So it catches people trying to fuzzy. Oh, <sighs> sometimes this game is, uh, is so, so difficult with me. What if... What if I set the opponent to crouch? Okay, yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Wait, okay. Surely this will work. Okay. <laughs> I look like a fraud right now. But it does work. It's just so hard to make the AI do it, like... Reliably. Okay. You'll just have to trust me, okay? Um, and that's that, okay? I'm just letting you know. It's true. You can do it. Anyway. Um, the other use you have for JK is for when you use Afro, okay? Um... But again, this is like... Oh, they're not blocking, are they? Uh, switch in a second. So, with Afro, you can do these uh, fuzzy catches. You can do them to the entire cast. As you can see. And air cancelable button into JK. Works on everyone. It works also if they're crouching, which is what makes Afro so strong. As you can see, they kind of have to block it. If I tell them to um, not switch, they get hit here. And if the Afro is not on fire, that would light it up. If the Afro is already on fire, that wouldn't light it up, which means you have to play a bit of an RPS game. Um, but it does work, okay? So just so you know, you can fuzzy people uh, um, or catch them um, and do instant overheads if they're crouching when you have Afro with JK. JK is not reactable. It's very hard to, like, even fuzzy for JK. Um, so, if you keep that in mind, that'd be good. Okay, so that's another use of JK. You can use it for normal fuzzies after JSJH. You can use it after people block love standing. Uh, you can use it after people block an air button, um, which is like a thing not many people use. Uh, but technically, as you can see, you can kind of force them to block. Um, I think even if I set him to crouch on block, uh, I don't think that works. Um, wait, what am I recording? Oh, okay. Is he crouching? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I can show this, but you can do it. So yeah, you, you can kind of see he's trying to like crouch, but he can't. Um, and for some reason, the computer is like blocking, but he should be getting hit if he's trying to crouch. Anyway, it works on humans. Okay, so just trust me. Um, 
Okay, anyway, JK, you can use it for fuzzies, you can use it for afro instant overheads or for fuzzy catches on afro to set up JD. And you can use it on people who air block uh, if you'd like to. Mainly use it to air to air people, that is the main use. Some cases you use it for uh, setting up tick throws, uh, like from mix 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 into JK, like this. Uh, you can either tick throw or set up pressure from it because it is plus. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, not many times, you'll use JK as like a, a way to kind of like jump safely into someone when you're doing like a late uh, jump in like this. Uh, this happens from like mo mostly from item situations uh, where you don't want to hit a JD up here, but you want to block for a little longer just in case somebody DPs or something and you have a weight coming. So. This like comes in, but it's like more uh, niche or yeah, like if you want them to block like an item that's coming in See like here. I wanted to do the JK as late as possible. So I'm like plus Like here, I don't want to hit them before with like a JD like this um, Or maybe I do it de kind of depends Anyway, um, these are all sorts of uses for JK mostly air to air. We use it to air to air here um I guess like there's like some situations where you use it to instant overhead from other things like this. I guess this does work for the computer. Uh, so yeah, you can use like uh, the mix 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 cancel to kind of like either instant overhead or set up a tech throw if you're doing like the the high one. Jesus Christ, dude! I hate doing this. Yeah, so you can use it to do like a true string overhead or like a. Set up a instant overhead that's kind of like hard to react to. Anyway, um, all sorts of uses. JK, mostly air throwing. I'm getting so distracted. Um, we show what you do on block. Uh, you do like this kind of like air dash into JSJH or just JH. You can air dash downwards a bit if you want to into just JS. If you don't want to do the JH, just like fine. You'll be like very close to the opponent. If they're like uh, not FDing, uh, that is like not bad at all because you can set up a tick throw uh, with this, as you can see. So a lot of, a lot of nice things. You can also uh, just like air dash and catch them with a cross up after this. So there's even mix on this if they're like respecting you. So lots, lots of options. Very, very nice. Not bad at all. I just want to not crouch on block. And yeah, I recommend using it. Now let's talk a bit about combos. Uh, I'll look a bit at my timer. Wow. I'm being a bad content maker today, but that's that's fine. Uh, nobody's angry, I'm sure. You're all forgiving me in your heart, okay? Because I just really like this move. So no guard. JK, we're going to cover hits. Uh, we're going to cover hits with meter, and then we're going to cover counter hits, and then counter hits with meter. And mid screen, JK, already looking pretty fine. You can get the opponent to the wall, just like your most basic confirm, as we said. Air dash, JS, brings you into a mix, mix, mix. It is super, super nice. Uh, if you air dash upwards, then you don't really get the close slash. As you can see, like it would be a bit too late to land. So if you air dash upwards, do a JH, uh, kind of like the same as you would do like a block string. Now you do not get a combo after this, but you can throw an item uh, pretty safely against uh, everyone, basically. So that is nice and okay. So either you're doing this or you're doing this. These are super basic confirms, super easy to do. Uh, if you get next, next to the wall, you can sometimes, mostly against lights, against uh, medium weights, this would be a bit more difficult to get. But you can get a bounce into 5k JK JD, uh, which then can set up Love Oki. I wonder if I can get it on the medium weight right now. Yeah, usually you don't get it unless you hit them pretty high, as you can see. So that is like option number one. Uh, technically, if you just do a JK into JK, which is also a true block string, so you don't have to worry about it on block, uh, you can pretty easily get like 
this kind of situation where you get like a close slash uh, into yeah into the safe jump. So if you feel more comfortable with doing this, this is okay. I think it's way better to do this. It's more consistent. It's less spacing dependent. Uh, this could sometimes leave you out of range for a close slash, and you'll have to do like 5k car mix like this to catch them. So up to you, whatever you like. Um, but you can do technically both of these. You can also um, do kind of like a it's kind of like an old combo where you do uh, JKJD into a close slash. Just like a very season one type combo. I'm trying to show it. They changed how like uh, JK picks up people, so it puts them even higher, which made this not an auto time, which is why I think people stopped using it. It's why I stopped using it, because uh, this used to be auto time, but now you have to kind of like wait for it. Uh, the good thing about it is that sometimes it would let you uh, do this kind of thing where you pick them up pretty high with a 5k and you can 5k JH them. Uh, it's kind of hard to replicate though, and I don't really re recommend going for it when you have the JS. But sometimes it can create more optimal situations, basically. You can, of course, also hit them into a mix, mix, mix. Uh, it does not work from JS, sadly, uh, but it does work from JK or from... Uh, oh, JD depends on the spacing, so... Yeah, sometimes JD would work, and sometimes JD would not work. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, when we get into more advanced combos, you can also confirm a JK, JK into a mix, mix, mix. If you do that right at the corner, you can actually set up wall breaks uh, from mid-screen, which is really, really nice. So, as you can see, I'm kind of like delaying it, and you're drifting downwards. Something you kind of want to make sure of that if you're like holding this, um, you don't want to hit them in kind of like the status po static position uh, right next to you because that would make them drop flat. You really want to keep them bouncing, okay? Because like this makes it so like they like actually get like a bounce at the end. See, like this. You kind of try to do like uh, this kind of like stair like input. Uh, that's like how it feels like to me. Uh, yeah, it could happen that you'll get like a little bit of a cross up there. Um, but yeah, and you can pick up with 5k uh, JK or with close slash 2s sometimes. Like, it kind of depends on the situation. As you can see, can net you a wall break. Another thing you can do is do a jump cancel into JSJH, okay? Which in mid screen could give you a wall bounce. Now there's something I want you to learn about JSJH. Uh, this is how JSJH looks like immediately. Okay, I'm doing like the same thing. Um, JSJH immediately, okay? Even with a deep dash in, JSJH immediately, right? No wall bounce, okay? Now this is what JS, the lay JH looks like. Okay, um, it's important in a lot of combos, but I, I don't think I've spoken about this before, so I guess it's worth mentioning. Um, if you delay your JH, you're gaining more space. You see kind of like the opponent moving forward before you start his like next like a uh, push. Um, so if you delay your JH, you can get like more space covered and get like an, a bounce from further away than you normally would. As you can see, you can set up Love Oki, you can do a mix, mix, mix. Uh, wait, sorry. Like this, or you can break the wall. Oh, sorry. I'm failing my, uh... Oh, oopsie. Yeah, you can do like a JK, JK mix. Which I actually, I, I don't know why I'm saying it and not doing it. I'm, um, 
being confused as to why like it wasn't working. But yeah, you can get wall breaks like this. Okay, whatever. Uh, so you can get wall breaks like this. The last thing I kind of want need to show you is that if you do JK JD, and this is more for I know I'm going to punish you or know I'm going to catch you. Uh, you can set up like more optimal combos technically like this. So if you're doing like this thing immediately and it hits, you can do things like this. Uh, oh wait, sorry, you do. Um, I'm I'm never doing this combo because of things like spacing like this. But you can do a 5k 6h into mix mix mix, and I think that sets up the wall break. Yeah. So you can get a wall break like this as well. I really don't recommend these things. I'm just letting you know all sorts of options that you have. Uh, some people like doing uh, JD into mix 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 just to get a bit more damage. Uh, so all of these are like fine or like some people do that into J2K, uh, which is like, okay. It's like easier to confirm on the spot. So maybe you do um, something like this, but J2K sometimes whiffs. Or something like this, which looks cool, but is not as good as other options. Anyway, these are all sorts of things you can do with JK without meter. Now let's talk about with meter. Okay, and I'm from now on going to focus mostly on this JS confirm. So once you have meter, you can use like your meter to either B or C, right? Let's assume that you're doing this thing. So you can do, uh, sorry. I don't know why I'm doing like a weird confirm there. So I'm going to do something like this. I want to do the, yeah, this, this confirm, it's like fairly easy to do. It's consistent on all weights and it deals solid damage. Uh, you can also do uh, something like this. So like from the air dash, I'm basically doing a JSJH. Uh, you need to drift upwards there a bit, usually, to con like make sure you get it. So I'm doing this again. You're doing the air dash. I don't know why I'm so confused right now. Or like why I'm trying things I am not sure if they work right now. Let me try something simple and just do JH there. Hmm, JH doesn't hit. Well, JH could hit, but it seems like it would be inconsistent. So let me just do this for a moment. Okay, so this is like a simple, consistent option. Then like the good combo, in my opinion, is doing like the close slash, close slash. Yeah, like this. This would be the combo I would go for, I think. It's like very consistent, deals good damage, um, works on all weight classes, which is important. So that would be like an option with meter. Of course, you can do uh, super as well, like this, uh, which would work. It sometimes wouldn't break the wall. It kind of depends on your spacing. This is like a mid-screen-ish option. And as you can see, it does not break the wall. But if you'd be a bit closer, like here, I believe it already would break the wall. I could be wrong about that, but I think it would. Yeah. So, yeah, you basically get the gauge for that. Once you're in the corner, uh, normal hit JK, um, as you can see, uh, becomes like very easy to go into mix, mix, mix. 
You don't really get wall bounce combos. Uh, if you have meter, of course, you can use it to do super. That's like the best option there. Or use your close slash. I'm trying to show like the the thing. Like in in, in the corner, this this sometimes like looks really weird. Uh, because like usually don't hit people that close to them. But basically, yeah, you can use meter in the same way as they use mid screen to add a close slash JD BRC, like so. Or you do uh, super. When you're uh, with your back to the wall, uh, JK on hit, um, it's like not bad at all. Uh, let's. I, I want to tell the opponent to be a bit further away from me. Um, yeah, so like when you hit like a JK, you can do a normal combo. Like nothing really changes here. If you do get a meter, there are ways to change back to the wall. Uh, the most consistent way to do it would be to just do a red RC there, send them back. And if you do 2S5H, it would break the wall. Let me just show that, I guess. Oh, sorry, you don't need to forward RC, just normal RC, close slash. Like this, it would break the wall. Close slash 2S can set up 50-50 left right, or uh, just an item toss. Uh, if you want to. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like what you do in the wall if you have corner. Uh, that's what you do with meter if you're at the wall. Showing it one more time. Yeah. Uh, of course, if you can somehow confirm this into this, uh, you can do better combos. But this is like um, pretty inhuman confirm, I would say. Um... Last thing is that you can kind of confirm with fast RC as well. Um, this works on block as well if you are doing it. It's like, it's not bad on block. Um, but if you ever want to do like a fast RC combo, because you want to save meter or something, uh, that's how it looks like. Uh, you're doing a fast RC JH. Uh, at least that's how I do it. I do 5k into JH. 5k JH, air dash JH, close slash 6H. Thrust, mash that 6H, and that like button. Uh, this combo, pretty saucy. Okay? So that's the fast RC combo. It works on block. Like, on block, you are forcing them to block. Uh, so let me just show that so you don't think I'm frauding this one too. So, as you can see, this pretty much forces them to block. You can do a delay JH like this to so do a true block string or to frame trap them. Uh, if you're like super close to them and you're like drifting forward, you might switch sides, which could be very confusing to the opponent. Like a 2k there, uh, which is about an I like to press uh, in these kind of situations. So this could be very confusing. Keep that in mind if you ever want to use it. I, I don't really set this up as like a as a mix tool that you should add to your kit because controlling this is like almost impossible and is also character dependent. So, good luck with this one, buddies. Uh, love you all. Um, but this is not something you can consistently pull off. At least not to my knowledge, I should say. Somebody wants to figure it out and send me a clip of them doing it consistently, then go for it, champs. Anyway, back to combos, okay? So, we talked about this, fast RC. We talked about in the corner. We talked about on here, uh, mid-screen, how to get a corner break, get high damage. Uh, let's talk about counter hits now. Okay, counter hits. That's where JK gets really saucy. Okay, so you remember this JK? Now it picks up even higher. So let's look at this confirm. See where it hits now? Not on the ground. It hits where close slash is at the peak range. And that is really important because it lets you do things like this. Uh, which is, is really good, right? So basically it gives you meterless wall breaks in mid screen. Uh, I'm doing right now a bad combo. Because uh, I'm doing JSJH because it's a bit of a wuss combo. Uh, once you're confirming this, you should be going for close slash JH immediately. Let's see, go for a combo like this. 188, 189. Wow, I thought it was 88. Um, so yeah, you get like really, really nice combos. Uh, basically, you're drifting uh, downwards uh, once you see the counter hit. JH, you don't have to drift downwards. Like this hits anyway. 
I like drifting downwards just because, like, gives me a bit more time in the combo uh, once I confirm it. But if you don't confirm it, that's also okay. Like, this is like a version of me not drifting. As you can see, I have to go for a bit of a safer combo um, to make sure, like, I'm not dropping or anything. But yeah. Super, super nice. Super saucy. Uh, you can, of course, do uh, the other combos we showed earlier. Like, these still work. Um, you can do, like, a... I think for this one, you do, like, a... JH into JSGD. Let me just make sure real quick. Um, yeah, something like this works. Yeah, something like this works too. So you can do all sorts of shenanigans like this. Again, I really recommend just going for this confirm. It is so, so good. It leads to amazing routes uh, on, on hit, on normal, on normal hit, on counter hit, with meter, without meter. It's always good. Uh, you can, of course, also go for um, like rounded routes like this if you're still struggling with all the air options or if you're like afraid to drop it because you're like here, right? And you don't know uh, what you're going to get. You can do that, as you can see, uh, from like in the corner situations. If you do close slash into it like this, you can get another mix loop or get like a thrust to send them away. Uh, the last thing you should rem you should know uh, that in the corner, you, it's not only that you can get like another mix loop after doing like a oh not another I should say you can get a mix loop right so you do this and you can still get like a, a mix loop even though you did like two hits before uh, which is normally not the case so you can also do a side switch combo um, I'm trying to show it it's kind of hard to get. Uh, and you have to be very stacked to do it. So it's like in cases where you're like literally jumping at them like a JK. Um, so it might not happen. Yeah, like this. So you get these kind of combos sometimes. Uh, if they do happen to you, you just need to confirm that it happened. Right? So you see it when you close slash, you'll see that it goes the other way and you just confirm into a wall bounce combo. It's another benefit of doing JK. It's one of the only buttons for Faust that can generate these kind of situations. Um, so yeah, keep keep it in mind. Keep a warm space in your heart for it, okay? Uh, it definitely, definitely deserves it. So these are all sorts of combos you can do with JK. Uh, you can, of course, uh, just like air dash and do just JH. That also works, right? Uh, you might want to air dash a bit upwards. Uh, just to give yourself a bit more space. Okay, this will set up Love Oki, or you can do something like this into Mix. That would break the wall. These are like easy combos. To, I, I hope most of us can do. And if not, just work on it till you get better. Uh, and be glad that you improved, right? You're doing epic combos now. Anyway, once you have meter, um, generally, uh, you'll be confirming into something like this, right? Getting like that super down. Or if you are like, let's say, uh, let me tell him to be like super far from here. Yeah, so like if you're like here and you can get like that wall bounce, right? You can always do like one of the meter extenders so something like this could set people to get to the wall it's like a faster c version to send people a bit further away i use this in all sorts of combos mostly because it looks cool not because it's optimal uh don't at me um sometimes being cool is more important right so you can do combos like this and you can also use it for like if, if you get that kind of like jk and you get this, of course, you can like use it to just get closer. Like this, also, like faster C option. Other than that, if you want to get like anything else or like, um, let's see, far range. So, like here, you're not very close to the wall. Uh, you can like do something like this to just run them into the wall. 
Uh, I think if you do J, uh, if you do close slash 2s, 5h, that wall breaks there. Or like wall sticks. So like... Wait. They can just like do a simple combo. To current the wall break. Um, if you can afford to do a BRC, it should be pretty easy to get them to the wall. Also gives you nice damage. So you got a lot of options for you after the JK confirm, right? After you do this. Uh, I think this, it should work from here. I might be fucking up. Yeah, okay. There it is. So you can do all sorts of confirms like that. Either a fast RC or a slow RC or a BRC, uh, PRC, uh, red RC, not a YRC, sadly. Um, but you can do all sorts of things. So just kind of like experiment with it. Find like a route that's very comfy for you and uh, go for it. Even though in most situations, uh, I would say you can break the wall meterless. Around here is like where you can't. Uh, and that's where like meter could pull through to give you that extra damage, extra wall break, uh, super. If you want to go for it, you can simply like um, do like a. Oh, sorry. Um, like you can simply do something like this. Super easy combo into super. If you just want to crank some damage and you're unsure if you can get to the wall reliably, as you can see, this does 150. Uh, the others do about 190. So you are losing some damage, but if you're like really not sure and you just like want to be safe uh there's nothing wrong with that okay go at it slowly okay so these are combos with meter uh i probably went over 30 minutes i probably went over 40 minutes for being honest uh but i really do think this move is good i think it has a lot of sauce i think it's very fun to use which is important and it has sauce combos and fun okay anyway uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll make sure to keep them up till we finish the series for real, for real. Uh, with one, two, three, four more aerial buttons. And until the next time, bye bye. I'll see you around. Stop jumping, Kai.